Hey everybody, Jeff Hunter here, Pro Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac, and today I'm here to show you this, the 2019 GMC Sierra AT4. If you couldn't tell from my video last week, I'm overly pumped, I'm overly excited. Uh, grab a coffee though, there's tons to go over, tons of new features. Uh, without further ado, let's go have a look. All right, so here it is finally. This is the 2019 GMC Sierra AT4. AT, what does that stand for? Well, simply put, it stands for all terrain, all terrain. Well, I think you can tell this is an all terrain looking truck, right? It is an off roady looking truck. Actually, a little more so than we're probably used to seeing from the factory from GMC. Why is that? Well, partially and mainly due to one thing that you might not be able to tell because it's not sitting beside a 2018 GMC Sierra or Silverado, but this truck is sitting higher, sitting higher by two inches. Right now, what GMC has added to the AT4 from the factory, factory designed by our factory GMC engineers, as well as factory installed, a two inch suspension lift which I think is awesome, right? It's gonna give us better ground clearance. It's gonna give us the ability, especially for a lot of us out here in Sault Ste. Marie, to put bigger rubber, more aggressive rubber there uh, because there's more clearance. The other reason we can put bigger rubber on these trucks now is right here, see that? The wheel wells are now rounded. They used to be more squared before, which limited the ability to put some bigger tires there unless you put a lifter space, a lift or leveling kit on there or a spacer kit. Now we can do it of course, with, uh, with, the, with the rounded rear wells and of course as a factory two inch lift, which I love. Makes it look beefier as well. Um, speaking of the tires and stuff though, those are the factory machined 20 inch aluminum wheels, which come on the AT4. Those are an option. Uh, the standard are, is an 18 inch uh, machined aluminum wheel, which obviously uh, looks pretty cool as well. Um, now, as far as the outside of the truck, if we're gonna keep to that, of course, and we're talking about the differences, of course, it sits higher, it actually is a bit longer. The overall truck length uh, of this truck uh, versus the, you know, the equivalent or somewhat equivalent, of course, in a 2018, it's one and a half inches longer. And the wheelbase here is four inches longer. It's about four inches longer. So there is some different dimensions uh, to this truck than what we're used to seeing. Now, as far as the AT4, you're gonna get that whole painted front end, okay? So obviously that looks cool. The uh, red toe hooks down there below. Uh, the other thing with, obviously you're gonna see different headlights, of course, in this than our previous 2018s. LED headlights, of course, in this, and then LED daytime driving lights, LED fog lights. A um, little different looking mirror than what we're used to seeing in the past also, okay? So there you go there. Uh, it's got the, um, uh, the turn signal, integrated turn signal in there. Not to mention, I don't know if you can see, but underneath there, I don't know if you can see it, but anyways, there's a camera underneath there, uh, which I'm going to tell you about after. Obviously serves a function. All right, so heading out the back, let's check this thing out from the back. One of the things we're obviously known for, one of the things that we, we've, it's been a very popular feature for us and a very usable feature for us is that step in the bumper, right? Now they're bigger. So if you have a, a bigger set of boots on, works, work boots, a, a snowmobile boot, if you're, you know, a winter boot, if you're trying to get back there to get your sled out, a bit more usable space there. And if you haven't already noticed as we're, as we're looking back here, Look at that dual exhaust. How cool does that look? We never had that before. I think obviously it's a very striking, uh, very appealing look that, uh, that we can, uh, we can, you know, we can take with this truck. I mean, it looks awesome. Uh, heading out back here too, you're going to see a little different look as well. The GMC has added a cool looking spoiler, which I think just adds to the overall look of the truck. Anyways, that's just some of the exterior differences and exterior looks of the truck. Uh, I think next what we'll do is we'll head right back there and we're going to talk about that cool tailgate. All right, so the next thing I wanna focus on, I'm gonna only focus on briefly, I can spend a lot of time on this. In fact, I will in an upcoming video, just the tailgate alone. This is the GMC Multi Pro Tailgate. I'm gonna tell you right now, this is unlike any tailgate you have ever seen. And it starts with this right here, pretty simply. Hit that, drops down. Although it's a light tailgate, how sweet is that, right? Now, if I walk up to the truck, there's gonna be another button that's found underneath. If I press that, it's gonna drop down, down that piece. Why would I want that? Well, let's look from the side here. See how that would be where your normal tailgate would end, right? So if you're trying to reach in the back of that truck, you're that much further out, especially if you have short arms to try and reach in the back of the truck. However, with this like this, I can walk right up here like this and reach that much further into the back of the truck. Pretty cool, right? Now, I can also do this, drop that down. And although we have the amazing patented, uh, you know, step in the bumper, this allows me to get in the back of the truck even easier. And they've even added a little handle if you need it to get in there as well. So super easy, right there, hold on there, and you're into the back of the truck. Again, that's if you're having a, even a heavier load, it's a little bit harder to get off the step on the side. You now have that option, not to mention, I can sit my rear right there and have my feet on the back there, which is kind of cool as well. Um, you know, kind of, a, if I want to sit at a tailgate, I want to watch a soccer game. Something like that. All right, let's go over some stuff in the box now. So what we're looking at right now is our GMC, of course, crew cab. This is with the standard 
five foot eight inch box. And can I tell you something which is really cool? Even though this is our five eight, five foot eight inch box, this offers more cargo room than you're gonna find on the six and a half inch Rams and Ford F-150. So how cool is that, right? As you can see, you might not be able to tell, but this is much wider, uh, uh, noticeably wider anyways, than what our older uh, Sierras and Silverados were. Um, now we used to have these upper tie down hooks down along the sides. They've changed that a little bit. They're a little bit lower. As you can see, there's spots there where you can put them, but look at this. The ability to hook right on here and of course you see that beautiful uh, spray and box liner the lights that we used to have up underneath here you're gonna see led lights right there so if you have a ton of cover on the back it's obviously pretty cool lights up the whole back and you can see back there and finally something i've been waiting for for quite a while a 110 outlet so you can run those power tools uh, out off the back here as well so that is the box again bigger volume bigger cargo volume in the back of this box five foot eight inch box than our competitors the ford and the dodge have in their six and a half inch boxes all right uh, i think we should just move inside next how about that all right we gotta have a peek inside this thing there again is your push button uh push button entry which i love keyless entry all right heading inside here a little bit different here you're gonna see uh you still have it still retains the memory seats in the higher trim level just a little little different look to it uh we got the carbon fiber look here that's part of the at4 package uh beautiful door sill plate of course filthy right now uh the at4 door sill plate and different leather it's a little bit different feel but also a little different character to it with the emblazoned uh at4 embroidered at4 uh badging up there um as far as over here this is a little bit different so we, we of course have the auto track four-wheel drive system that you're used to but what's different now is it's push button so auto two-wheel drive four high four low is done by the push of a button as opposed to the dial why do we have a dial then well the dial is for this right here check this out different modes so you have your sport mode off-road mode and then you have tow haul mode so as opposed to remember i don't know if you remember if you have a gmc truck it used to be right here you just push the button for tow haul mode now the tow haul mode is done uh right here as a as a part of the turn dial of course you have your auto auto headlights as we're always used to uh there's a light for the back uh that shines off on the back uh and then oh, shines in the back of course the lights i showed you before and then we have electric parking brake in this truck which i absolutely love the ability to have that super easy uh super simple to use one thing you've never seen in a gmc truck before though is that right there what is that hud heads up display Check this out. I don't know if you can see it. You might. It doesn't flicker like that when you're looking at it. It's just part of the camera. Uh, but there's a heads up display here now. Beautiful color heads up display. It's going to give you a bunch of different options you can see up on there. Anyways, that's what it is. You can adjust the height of it. You can adjust the, uh, the brightness of it and so on. Of course, it's daytime, so it's really hard to tell. But heads up display, that is a new feature. Are you going to see here, of course, a little more digital display here. Uh, and again, it's different than what we're used to seeing in the past. Of course, as always, tons of different information you can uh, you can go through on this uh, on, on the uh, on the center on the center console uh, center display I should say um, cruise controls over here heated steering wheel um, the uh, forward collision alerts uh, again uh, this is going to control some of our stuff here our Bluetooth controls I mean that again is a steering wheel a lot of it looks uh, a lot of it is the same features it just looks a bit different um, push button start we've got there what I love what is that right wireless charging it's awesome uh, again, eight-inch color uh, touchscreen. It is a little bit different looking than the past, uh, but it does retain, a, uh, you know, obviously a lot of the same things. Um, and of course, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. But uh, in this truck, what I also love, we've got Nav in here, of course, as well, right? There's your Nav system. But what I want to show you something that's really cool as well. Remember, I showed you those mirrors on the outside of the camera. That is because now, never before offered in our trucks, you have the around vision camera. So, if I'm to put this thing, it's loading the maps right now. New truck. We haven't even uh, uh, PDI'd it yet. There you go. You have the round vision camera so you can see all the way around the truck, especially if you've got a trailer on, uh, you know, whatever it may be. And then you have your normal backup camera and then you can control different aspects of it. So you can have, you know, you can have it showing different things. You can, you can look at that. Seriously, right? Pretty cool. And that goes, that's a part of the trailing. Uh, we have a pro grade trailing package. Again, that's something I'm gonna do in another video, uh, but that's something uh, that is really, really cool, unique to GMC. And again, we're gonna go over that later. Um, I flipped this open already, tons of charge uh, charge ports here, as you can see, USB, USC. Uh, now, one thing they also done is we have the trailer brake controller again as well, integrated with all of our safety features, which I love, but they've moved it down here. So it used to be up in here, but of course we've got some different things going on. So they moved it down here, it's still out of the way. You're not knocking your knee off of it. And again, it works in conjunction with our safety features, which I love. Um, Separate climate control, of course, that's not going away. Uh, heated seats, cooled seats, lane keep assist, park assist. Okay, one thing I haven't talked to you about, all right, is this right here. This truck now has, like our SUVs, like our cars, like our caddies, auto stop start technology. When you, so when you pull up to a traffic light, the engine will actually shut off until you're off the brake, and as soon as you're off the brake, it'll turn back on again. Of course, all in the efforts of fuel savings. Now, some of us, uh, you know, some of you diehard truckers, uh, old school truckers, you don't want that aspect, and we appreciate that, okay? Although it's great fuel saving, some of us don't want that. You now, see that little A right there? 
you have the ability to press that button and turn it off. So you can disengage the auto stop start technology, which I think is obviously a great feature. Uh, of course, now you can hit this, it'll drop the tailgate from the in inside. Um, and then there's some other features there as well, your hill descent control and so on. All right, uh, we've still retained, of course, it's got you know a decent amount of storage. I've already shown you the wireless charging. Uh, you can still have tons of storage underneath your arm uh, on the console there. And a few more uh, outlets, SD card, USB, USC. Uh, we haven't gone away from the dual, uh, the upper and lower um, uh, glove compartments, which I like. Okay. Uh, so again, that's some of the front. That's some of the front. Let's head around the back and uh, and show you. Actually, let's, let's step up there right now. I want to show you. It's actually bigger though. And of course, Bose stereo, which I love. Um, and also, by the way, the Bose stereo, just for all of you, it works great with the. Um, the Bluetooth. So not only does it, of course, work good for your stereo, but it works good for the Bluetooth. Anyways, uh, you might not be able to tell again, Naked Eye, but there is more room back here, a little more space. I love it. Uh, some new things that we're, we never had before. Heated rear seats, finally, in the back of this truck. Rear vents, finally. And then, of course, you can have USB, USC, and the old school uh, charger back here. A couple other differences, okay? Well, this isn't different, but again, very easy to lift that up. And of course, you got the split, so uh, this two thirds will flip up or the other third. All right, but what is new is right here. Check this out. I love this storage in behind the seat this is not a wasted space finally i love it super easy to open super simple and that of course goes on both sides and of course they haven't gone away from the armrest with the cup holders that we've always had in the past anyways that is the inside uh i guess let's move on i want to talk a little bit about what's underneath that right there let's go have a peek at that engine all right so right now this has got the 5.3 liter i think as you can clearly see uh we do have some other, of course more 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 motor options part of me uh coming uh this year uh, of course the 6.2 is an option we can put in here but let's just focus on what we have in this truck right now this is the 5.3 this is made it with the eight speed tranny so of course great fuel mileage great towing a little over 9,000 pounds towing with a 342 gear ratio uh and as far as horsepower again going to that 355 horsepower that we're used to but what is different okay there's a massive difference in the in the in this motor aside from the fact of course it's retaining the 5.3 but what's different about it now is we used to have something called active fuel management that's what we have in our, in our current 2018s okay which is great it's an awesome feature it drops it drops from eight cylinders to four when you're not needing the power which of course aids in the fuel efficiency now this motor is what we call dynamic fuel management what does dynamic fuel management mean well it means that it could run on anywhere from one to eight cylinders so you can be on seven cylinders six cylinders three cylinders two cylinders whatever it is that you need the power for and that is it the motor will run on that what's that mean obviously it's going to translate to better fuel efficiency right so again dynamic fuel management brand new to this eight speed training 5.3 liter you can get the 6.2 with still 100 420 horsepower there's going to be a four cylinder turbo offering there's going to be a diesel offering got a lot of cool stuff coming on this truck i hope you enjoyed the video today this is the, this is the gmc at4 i might have missed a lot there's so much more to go over i'm going to be touching on uh, some specific things i'm going to touch of course on the uh, on the rear tailgate and so on if you have any questions with this video please call me email me message me come and see this truck this thing is amazing jeff hunter pro chevrolet as always thanks for watching